Hi, my name is Jamie Graves. I'm the Japan Portfolio Manager here at Skernik Wines and Spirits, uh, and I want to talk about Japan's native spirit, shochu. Shochu has existed in Japan for hundreds of years, uh, ever since the technique of distillation first arrived. It probably arrived either through the west, through Korea, or through the south, through the islands of Okinawa. People often ask about what is the difference between shochu and soju, are they the same thing? Uh, shochu is native to Japan, uh, soju is native to Korea. As you might suspect from the name, it actually means the same thing. Uh, they both mean something like burnt spirit, uh, referring to the distillation. But historically over the years, they've kind of turned into two different things. Soju out of Korea is made from a very uh, complex fermentation with a lot of different microbes in it and tends to have a very sort of rich flavor. In Japan, many years ago, they were able to isolate uh, the koji uh, spores specifically, which allows shochu to have sort of a cleaner and more direct flavor than you generally find in soju and other East Asian spirits. So when distillation arrived to Japan, uh, people started making shochu all over the country, uh, but really the spiritual home of shochu is in the southern island of Kyushu. Kyushu is primarily agricultural, and most shochu was made uh, on farms by farmers uh, from extra ingredients they had left over uh, during harvest. So initially, shochu was just made from the alcohol Japan had on hand. Sake. So the first uh, shochu was just distilled from fermented rice. Over the years, however, as farmers found they had leftover uh, staple ingredients in their crops, things like barley and sweet potato and buckwheat, those were thrown into ferment uh, with the sake and then distilled together. This is what gives us the range of different ingredients in shochu that we find today. Because shochu is rooted so much in agricultural communities by people who grew the ingredients themselves, they very much want you to taste uh, the base flavors of those ingredients. So sweet potato shochu does taste a lot like sweet potatoes. Barley shochu definitely has a lot of toasty, nutty flavors of barley, and rice shochu gives you a lot of the elegant uh, creaminess that you get from rice. By law, premium or honkaku shochu can only be distilled once, which allows you to taste the oils and flavors of that ingredient, whether it's barley, sweet potato, or rice. And after you've distilled it, the only thing you can add to it is water or a little bit of time for aging uh, to make those pure flavors come through. Yamasemi, or Kingfisher, is a traditional uh, rice shochu made from 100% rice, uh, made by the Usuzuyama distillery on the top of a mountain uh, to get access to a clean water source. It's a very uh, clean, fresh, slightly spicy shochu that grows great with lighter foods uh, like sashimi or raw oysters. Toji Junpei is a traditional uh, sweet potato-based shochu made from purple sweet potatoes, which gives it a very distinctive flavor. Uh, all the koji rice used in this is made by hand, which gives it very delicate, clean, slightly tropical flavor. Manden Boshi Genshu is a very rich, full barley shochu made from a type of barley called hadakamugi, or literally naked barley. Uh, it's kept at full proof uh, at about 40% alcohol, very rich and dense in flavor with a lot of chocolate notes, a lot of earthy notes, uh, distilled at the Watanabe distillery where they don't use any inoculated yeast. Uh, everything is wild, spontaneous fermentation, giving very deep, rich flavors to the shochu. Yanagi Takoma is a classic example of a modern, clean, light 100% barley shochu. It's the first 100% barley shochu that we know of. Distinctively distilled on a vacuum still, which allows for a lot of light, clean, pretty, or grassy aromas to come through. I'd like it best enjoyed uh, over ice or with a little bit of soda water and a twist of lemon. So as a spirit, a shochu is almost never enjoyed neat. It's almost always mixed with something else, uh, whether that's a little bit of uh, flat water, sparkling water served over ice, or with hot water, which brings it down to a nice food-friendly ABV and allows you to enjoy it with food. Come by.